Hello again YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to take a set of solar powered garden string lights and turn them into USB powered string lights. For this project you'll need a set of garden solar lamps with 30 LEDs on a string. You'll need one power bank and the cable that comes with it. You'll need either some heat shrink or some insulating tape to seal it up once you've soldered. You'll need a soldering iron and a pair of snips. And you'll also need one resistor. In this case, the resistor is 100 ohms. This is actually the second attempt at uploading this video. The first time I loaded it uh, was last night, so Tuesday night, uh, and the video contained an error. Now I've got this, uh, I showed you this pack of resistors. Uh, there's a couple of errors on here. There's basically there's a colour error, or oh, there's actually more than one, uh, and it's basically the colour of the ink. Now I don't know if it's faded or if it was just poorly printed in the first place. I suspect it was poorly printed because it's not the only problem with this resistor kit. For example, the 47 ohm resistors in here aren't 47 ohm. They're 47,000 ohm. Or, sorry, they're yeah, they're 47,000 ohm. Um, so these cheap resistor kits, they're really good and they're handy, um, but you need to be careful because the the values that you're working with aren't always correct. So if you're going to use something like this, just use your meter to double check the value before you actually use it in a circuit. Uh, so thanks to Martin for pointing that, that error out. Um, I also was also asked about how I arrived at the 100 ohms being the right resistor for this project. Um, so for those of you that aren't interested in this, you can skip ahead a couple of minutes. and uh, So we're going to talk about the how we calculate that. If you just want to make your fairy lights work, then skip ahead about two minutes. Uh, how I arrived at the, the result was I used my bench power supply first and I put the LEDs on and I turned up the voltage until I got the LEDs to start lighting. Then I continued to turn it up until I got to a point where I was happy with them. Uh, now, where I was happy, the LEDs were running at 80 milliamps. So that was, uh, it's, it's not an awful lot. But because, like all of these things, because we don't have data sheets on the LEDs themselves, we have to either make some assumptions or go with uh, the information that we have available. So that's why I put it on the bench power supply and kept turning it up until I got a result that I was happy with. So how I arrived at 100 ohms being the right resistor? Well, we use Ohm's law to determine that. Um, so the first thing we need in Ohm's law is the voltage. Now the voltage that we're working with is the USB voltage, so we know that to be 5 volts. And Ohm's law of voltage is represented as the letter V. Then the current that we're working with, uh, current represented as letter I. And we know that to be 80 milliamps, and when you're calculating Ohm's law, you work in amps. So 80 milliamps at 0. 0 0.08 amps and then we need to know the resistance and that's R so at the moment we don't know what that is until we calculate it in order to calculate resistance resistance is represented as R equals voltage over I or voltage divided by uh, current so we know the, the currents, sorry, we know the voltage is 5 and we divide that by 0 0.08 and that gives us a result of 62.5. Okay, so that's our, our resistance value, our target resistance value. So that would give us, uh, these LEDs would cause them to run at 80 milliamps on a 5 volt supply. So... That's all good and well, but you don't get a 62.5 ohm resistor. You could use all sorts of resistors to, 
to you know to common and series them up to to get to that value, but that's a whole lot of fuss for not a lot of gain. So what we can do here is our 62.5, we can choose the next nearest resistor. And we've got two options here. We can either go up in resistance to 100 ohms, or we can go down in resistance, and the next nearest one that I would have would be 47 ohms. Now, two things. Firstly, I don't have a 47 ohm resistor, because my resistor pack doesn't have one in. Where they are, there's a 47k resistor instead. Um, and also, if I went down to 47 ohms, the LEDs are going to run brighter, they're going to consume more power, and they're going to get hotter. So that will reduce the lifespan of the LEDs. So when you, any time that you're uh, using a calculation like this, you would always go up in value, uh, so that you're, especially where it's lights, you would run them a little bit dimmer, a little bit cooler, and it would last a lot longer. So not only will the, the LEDs last longer, it will extend their lifespan, but the batteries will last a bit longer. And that's great if you're not having to read by a light, you know, if you're if it's just there for you know decorative effect, and that's exactly what these are for. So that's how I arrived at 100 ohms being the right resistance. Now, what that means is these two values have to change. So you either then have to change the current or the voltage. Um, because Ohm's law means that if you change one of these, it affects the one of the other two. Now, we can't change the voltage because it's a fixed output from the power supply. So we then need to effectively we're changing the current. So 80 milliamps is no longer valid. So what we, we need to do then is we need to calculate current. So current's expressed as I equals voltage over resistance. So in this case, we know that voltage is still 5, and we know that resistance is 100. So it gives us a value of 0 0.05, and that's our current. So we've gone from 80 milliamps down to 50 milliamps. So in doing so, it means that our power supply will run longer before the battery runs out. And yes, it's going to be a little bit dimmer, but like I said, I'm not concerned about that. So that's our that's our final value. So our final value here is 0 0.05 of an amp. Thanks to Martin Webster for uh, for pointing that out. You're right, Martin. The, the the values that were shown in the original video were way off. It wasn't your mistake. It was my mistake. Um, well spotted, uh, and uh, I hope this hope this gives a good explanation. So this method works for lights that have thirty LEDs. So this is the the original set I bought here. It's from Home Bargains in the UK. It cost six pounds ninety nine pence, and uh, it comes with 30 LEDs in 10 light bulb effects. The light bulbs are not real light bulbs, they're plastic and they've just got some LED string lights inside. But it's a nice effect. So each light bulb has three LEDs. So the method I'm going to show you now will work for this type, this set of light bulbs, this type of light bulbs. It should also work for light bulbs that have uh, 30 LEDs, or sorry, for fairy lights that have 30 LEDs, or thereabouts. Um, and what you're looking for is a set that are solar powered, and inside they've only got one battery. So this one's a 600 milliamp, one, basically one AA cell. So that's what it's powered from before. We're converting it to this. Uh, it will run for much longer. The Once you convert it to USB, it's no longer waterproof, so it's no longer suitable for use out in the garden, so it's only for somewhere dry. It could be inside a gazebo, inside a, a parasol, or inside a sunroom in the house. So what I do is chop the end off. I've got a big bucket of these, but I've never found a use for them. So I'll stick that in with the rest and then I'll open this up, up a little bit and you can strip the cable off there just by pulling it with your fingers 
This one's marked with a, a pink lead and a sort of blackish, dark grey lead inside. Um, in this case, uh, I've used a few of these so I know that the polarity is correct. I know that the pink is positive and the black is negative. But if you're doing this yourself or doing it for the first time, then put your little multimeter on just to make sure that they're the right way around. Just be careful that you don't short anything out when you're doing that. Um, just means you'll get the polarity correct on your project. Now LEDs only work in one direction, so if you're not uh, familiar with electronics, uh, a diode means that it only works or it only passes voltage in one direction. So I've put a little red mark on here and it lets me know this is the positive lead. I worked that out before I took it apart obviously. Um, so if you're going to do this, make sure you mark up one of your leads as positive. Okay. So now I want to get some solder on this. Uh, I'm going to bring in this, this little tool. Um, you can use something to hold your resistor. It doesn't have to be one of these. This is a, a helping hand. Um, I just like to use this to, to hold it. It means you, you're not going to burn your fingers. And I'll just use it to put a little dot of solder on there if I can. Just make sure you let it cool before you touch it. I'll do it. Okay, it's not the best joint in the world, but that'll do. I'm happy enough with that. My heat shrink covers it just. So that's okay. That does cover it. Let's see if we can get this one to... Just twist these together. There's just two wires going together. I'll twist these, solder them, and then fold them over, and that's that's okay. That's an acceptable joint on a cable like this. Um, now, I'm going to use a heat gun that I have with my soldering iron. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a, a lighter or worst case scenario a match uh, to to shrink the heat shrink but I don't have to do that And I'll bring this bit of this bit of uh, heat shrink down. I can put a little bit of fold in that cable there, just to even the the two silver cables up a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've now got my cable soldered up, my heat shrink on it. Let's give it a try. See if it works. There we are. 
they're nice and bright they're not quite let me just take the exposure down a little bit there we are that's about how bright they are um to the, the naked eye so i'm quite pleased with that result thanks for watching if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video